Yeah, I'ma rap how I want to. I'ma let the beat slap how I want to. I'ma let the seat back how I want to. And I'ma count these stacks how I want to. She gon' let a nigga smash if she want to. I'ma smack on the ass if I want to. Make me mad, I'ma crash if I want to. I what up, YouTube fam? It's your boy Beretta Biz back with another review. An early shoe review. Um, these drop March 11. If, if you in the shoes, you know about these classic shoe. Jordan won in the playoffs, 1997, but he debuted them in the All-Star game that year. And you know what I'm saying? When they hit, just like all the shoes back then, when they hit, it, it, it was like wildfire. You know what I'm saying? People had to have them. But they back for the, it's like the fourth release of these, um, the fourth retro. I mean, the third retro, but the fourth time they released. And as you can see, I'm talking about the... Jordan 12 playoff colorway. Um, I ain't got to talk too much about them. Y'all know what it is. Black leather. You know what I'm As you can see, we're going to do a 360. Black leather. Got the white uh, mud guard. You know what I'm saying? The white sole. The carbon fiber shank plate. Black pods. Red 23, just a classic shoe, man. 2-3 on the tongue. The red jump man. Got the red uh, square with the black jump man. Says Jordan, quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Red 23 on the back. It's just a classic shoe, you know. Very simple. Silver jump man on the side here. With the, uh, I forgot, I think they call this brushed aglets. I think in 97, they may have been like this color. These are plastic, though. In 97, the originals was metal. So, it is a retro. I mean, it is, it's supposed to be true to the OG form. But, of course, they, they ain't going to give us everything correct. Um, I don't know why, but that's just how it goes sometimes. If you look on the inside, you might not can't see it, but we got a red jump man on a black uh, insole. And, uh, I mean, that's about it, man. Y'all know about these. Just the other shoe. Same flavor. I'm happy to pick these up early. Had to pay a little bit extra, but, you know. You have to get the review out, man. It's been a minute. I apologize. I will be adding more content to the channel. Um, music, more reviews. I might even start doing like uh, some uh, some clothing pickups, um, some hauls, as they call them, just to keep some content flowing to the channel. I know it's been a minute. I'm, I'm actually working um, behind the scenes on a lot of different things, man. Just stay tuned. I appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me, though. If you would, man, follow me uh, at Beretta Biz on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, follow me here. Subscribe. Hit that. Uh, hit that. Hit that thumbs up, man. Go a long way um, to help with the uh, algorithm. You know that algorithm across social media is is very important. So um, you know, if the more people like it, the more the video get out there. Um, let me know y'all thoughts in the comments on these, man. Is it is it a must cop? You know what I'm saying? Is it a is it a pass? We got the next release coming up um, this weekend, today Tuesday, which was supposed to be the secondary date for these to release, but they're coming out on March 11th. Today is the first. Y'all probably ain't gonna see this until tomorrow, the second. But um, let me know, man. Y'all y'all going after these? Are y'all going to hold y'all money into, uh, 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 you know, for another release? Or, you know, what, 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 what's on your radar for this month? So, these are important to me. Um, and them sixes, the uh, UNC joints. Got to have those. But uh, I'm going to get y'all on foot real quick. We won't take jacking. We won't do no editing. So, I'm just going to throw these on feet and uh, let y'all see them. And, uh... Yeah, man, y'all let me know. No, 
normally I go a half size down. This this like the this like I think the second or third pair of twelves I've owned in my lifetime. Honestly, um, I had the flu games from twenty sixteen. I sold those. Get these out the way. And I had went a half size down in them. These fit pretty. Uh, I feel like they fit pretty true to size. I maybe could have gone down. That ain't no big deal. I'll give y'all one tie up. Put the tongue over. I'm gonna give y'all one. One loose. Just give y'all some options. How y'all might want to rock them. Cardboard shoe trees. Rock these with jeans, shorts, track pants, joggers. It's just one of them shoes that you know you get away with a lot of different things. So yeah, these what they rock like on my feet. Shout out to Nike and Jordan brand. I think they did a good job on these. 12s is one of the most comfortable shoes out there, most definitely. One of the most comfortable J's. I won't say one of the most comfortable shoes, but as far as Jordans go, they not known for comfort, so. But yeah, man, I thank y'all for tuning in. I ain't gonna keep y'all much longer. Just wanted to get these in. One time for my cameraman, PT, man. Y'all go follow him, PT Producer. The producer on uh, Instagram, and uh, we out. Okay.